Well, don't I look the most glamorous I've ever looked in my entire life? Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and today I'm gonna be doing a little chit chat, get ready with me. We're gonna talk about Ariana Grande because I went to see her live in concert, reaching milestones, what I wanna do in the future, my hopes, my dreams. <laughs> okay, maybe we're not gonna get that deep in this video, but I just wanna chill and chat and do my makeup. Also, I thought I'd recreate the makeup that I did to see Ariana Grande and just reminisce and relive. <laughs> All I've been doing is watching videos of that concert over and over and over again. I still can't believe it happened. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get on to the makeup. I wanna sort my face out, okay? I'm looking, I'm looking questionable right now. <laughs> I'm gonna do my eyes first, so let's zoom you guys in just a little bit and get to chatting. You know what, I'm actually gonna do my brows first because, well, right now I'm in the state of mind. I wanna be like all the time. Oh. Uh, yeah, just because I feel like it. I'm gonna be doing soap brows, which I've been loving doing recently. I really love a fluffy, thick looking brow. So yeah, I went to go see Ariana Grande in London in the O2 and it was just as magical as I thought it was going to be. Honestly, I had some high expectations because I know she's a good singer. She just blew it out of the freaking park. My expectations just... I don't know what to say. She is the most flawless performer I have ever seen in my life. Like no bum notes, whistle notes for days. Like she just, I have no words. She's an insanely, incredibly talented singer. And well, I can only ever wish to be as talented as her, which you know, I do on a daily basis. <laughs> there was a little bit of drama before we even got to the concert. Basically we were in like, kind of like a gated community our hotel was. And so we ordered three Ubers and they all cancelled because they couldn't get through the frigging gate. It was a nightmare. Me and my friend thought we were gonna miss the concert. We were gonna lose our minds and uh, we were panicking just a little bit. <laughs> we did manage to get our Uber afterwards, but after running to the gate to make sure that they wouldn't leave because they were they were turning around. They were gonna cancel. We knew. But by that time the gates already opened at the concert and we got there about half an hour later. Standing, which is the tickets we had, was already like filled and we couldn't see anything. I was putting a picture by here of what I could see when my arm was up in the air, like as high as it could go. I could not see anything. I'm five foot three, my friend is even shorter. We weren't seeing nothing with standing. By the way, I'm gonna list all the products that I'm using down below. Just because I'm in like a chit chatty mood and I'm gonna be talking a lot and I may forget things, so I'm just gonna list them all down below for you. The eye look is pretty much the same one that I did for the boyfriend music video recreation. I'll put that in the eye over here for you guys, but it's just like a pink version. My outfit was pink, so I decided to go pink for the concert. But yeah, anyway, I had the idea to possibly see if we could upgrade our tickets to seating, just because it would've been better view-wise. Social House came on and we could not see a thing. Like I couldn't even see the screens and I just was not living my best life in the standing, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so we went up to customer services and they said it's too early, come back just before Ariana comes on and they'll know if they have any spare tickets available. We had to walk through the seating area to actually go to customer services so we decided on the way down to maybe just take a, a casual seat while we were waiting to go get seats. <laughs> so we sat down on spare seats that were just vacant at the time and watched Ella May. She was amazing live as well. And then I had her song stuck in my friggin' head afterwards. <laughs> it's so funny because my friend was like, everything happens for a reason, which I do believe it does happen for a reason, but it was just I don't know. It was just craziness, okay? So we decided to go to the toilet um, and there was obviously a massive queue because there always is for the woman. Like, why? Ladies, why we gotta take so long? Like, then we were just, you know, standing there waiting for our turn and my friend looked over to the other side and she was like, is that an entrance for the girl's toilet with no queue? And lo and behold, it was. <laughs> So we kind of legged it over to the other side and there was literally about three people in the queue there. We could not believe our luck and as soon as obviously we did that, other people caught on and started running over. We started walking back and we had to walk past the customer services area to actually get back to the standing area. By this time it was nine o'clock, they told us to go there by about quarter past and I was like, should we just go now and ask, just try our luck, see what we can get? And people were starting to queue up so we were like, do it now. If anybody gets the tickets before we do, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> so we queue up, I put my best friendly face on and there was this lovely lady there and I said hi. <laughs> we were told if we come here around this time that we could possibly get our tickets upgraded. We are in standing, we couldn't see anything so we were hoping to maybe, you know, 
get Satan instead. And it's so funny because beforehand me and my friend were talking like, okay, how much is the maximum we're willing to pay? And I was like, 100 pounds, the maximum I'm willing to pay for an upgrade, things like that. You know, thinking inside my budget, you know, what can I do? And this lady just turns around to me and she kind of looks at her colleagues like, gives them like the side eye. Then turns to me and says, well, we have these two seats here that are available. There might be a slight restricted view, but it's Satan. So you can have these if you like. And I just looked at her, I was like, yeah? And she was like, yeah, you can take them. And I just kind of looked at her and I was like, I can take them? And she was like, yeah, you can have them. It was like in slow-mo, so I was like... Thanks. <laughs> and that was it. We had an upgrade for free. And ladies and gentlemen, that is just proof that if you don't ask, you don't freaking get it. <laughs> and me and my friend were literally skipping down to the seating area. And guys, when I tell you, we had the best seats. We had the f best friggin' seats in the world, okay? I don't know what she was talking about, restrictive view, because we could see everything. Ariana was standing right in front of me. The majority of it, oh my god, it was so good. The only con was is that me and my friend were separated, so that kind of sucked. After it all, we just met up at the end, and we were just kind of like, we had no words, we were just dumbfounded and we were just so grateful. Oh my god, thank you to whoever it was at the O2 who gave me that upgrade because you made my you made my life, okay? It was magical. I need to cut my crease now, so I'm just gonna be quiet for a second and uh, then we'll talk some more about how amazing Ariana Grande is. You my boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, Yes, I am going in with bright ass pink on my lip. <laughs> I just went all in. All in on nothing, right? I am being so aggressive today, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but she started off with raindrops, and if you know that, it's such a pretty snippet on her album. When raindrops fell down from the sky The day you left me An angel cried Oh, she cried So friggin' amazing. And then it drops straight into my favorite. Oh my gosh. Like, I can't stop thinking about it. She sung God is a Woman. Dangerous Woman comes close to that, but God is a Woman is like literally my favorite. And everyone knows that top note that she does, well, I can't do it. She just goes and friggin' does a whistle note instead, just as casual as ever. And I was just there like. Unnecessary and uncalled for and amazing all in one. <laughs> I'm getting so animated in this video, <laughs> but I I just couldn't believe it I was like kind of singing along every now and again very badly in the background But then when she did stuff like that, I just stopped and I was just there like <laughs> I just couldn't I couldn't control myself. Okay. She honestly just She's amazing. I don't know what else to say. I think we get the picture <laughs> I've literally been filming for almost half an hour and I haven't even done one eye yet. Fast forward just a little bit and finish off my eye. So, uh, just one second. You believe in God? Oh, yeah. Oh, bling is well done. You believe God is a woman. Oh, and she did Needy, which is like one of my favorite songs on her new album. Tell me how good it feels to be needed. Be right back, need to concentrate with the wing. <laughs> I think I should probably move on from the Ariana Grande concert, even though I could literally talk about it for the next 300 years. Uh, I think we should talk about the next thing, which is in fact about you guys. We actually made it to 500 people on this channel and I think we've now actually surpassed it, which is just, insane. I'm so thankful. So thank you for everyone who decided to subscribe. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't yet decided, I hope you do decide to stick around. All you need to do is hit the little red subscribe button down below and the bell button and you'll get notified of my new uploads. But yeah, we reached my end goal of this year already. I know in the whole terms of YouTube, 500 people might not seem like a lot of people, but it's, I mean, that is actually a lot of people. 
I don't, I don't know what people are talking about. And it's 500 people who chose to see what I have to say and that truly means the world. I don't know how to say thank you apart from thank you. <laughs> I have decided though at a thousand people I am gonna do a giveaway of like my favorite pieces and just give back to you guys and yeah I'm excited to do that. It's gonna be my first ever kind of giveaway. If you do want to be part of that and you're not subscribed already then please do. Let's see if we can get to a thousand by the end of the year. I'm gonna be called to do like a Christmas giveaway. Christmas is my favorite time of year so that would be great but We'll see what happens. I'm gonna quickly go do my other eye off camera just to save us a smidgen of time. Uh, so I'll be right back. Okay, so welcome back to the eyes. I'm gonna do the face now. So recently I've been so much more motivated to, to kind of improve myself a little bit. I don't know. I've never been the best at self motivation, but I'm trying to push myself a little bit more, which means doing more stuff that I wanna do like YouTube. I wanted a really glowy base, so I sprayed this. Over my face, fill my blood running. So the sky's falling. By the way, I'm kind of like working out of my. <laughs> travel bag right now. I haven't sorted through it. I've been back for like three days. I just haven't sorted through it yet. Uh, I really need to. <laughs> but I really want to do a makeup to clutter video and I really wanted to wait until I had nails to do it. I'm not into ASMR videos. Like they're just not my jam but I love watching makeup to clutter. So they're so satisfying. I especially love the ones when people have nails so it makes the kind of like like tapping noises on the products. I don't know why, I just love it and find it really satisfying. So I literally waited until I had nails and I now have nails. So I'm really excited to jump into that video. I'm gonna look a little bit crazy because I currently do have fake tan on. I gotta do a little bit of uh, mixeroo on my face. So this is gonna look too dark for a sweat. It'll look all right in the end. Just keep breathing and breathing and breathing and breathing. Oh my, keep on breathing. Look like a tiger. <laughs> Can't remember where I was going with uh, what I was talking about, so <laughs> just gonna move on to the next thing. Honestly, you guys need to get the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define foundation. No other foundation treats me the way the Conceal and Define does. It just looks so freaking good. So smoothing. Oh my gosh. I went quite in on this makeup look, by the way. I really wanted to do like the most full coverage, the most contoured, the most. Highlighted. <laughs> so if you're looking for a, a subtle look, uh, you're probably not gonna find it here right now. <laughs> I've run out of things to talk about. I can't remember what else I was gonna say in this video. <laughs> Mainly that I can't wait to do a makeup to clutter. <laughs> Sadly excited to do that. Like ridiculously excited. I have been loving this e.l.f. concealer. It is so freaking good. So full coverage. Lasted me all night. I know it looks really highlighted on camera, but I swear it's, <laughs> it's not that crazy. These stupid hooded lids are getting transfer no i don't remember this happening on the actual night which is peculiar maybe i did my wing slightly differently i don't know that's uh unfortunate but oh well we need to move on <laughs> i went kind of in with this <laughs> i really wanted to look snatched i wanted to look chiseled i wanted to really make an effort for this concert and i did I really did. I know this looks super dark on my skin now and I've got like fake tan on. But I've actually been using this color when I'm paler and I just really subdue it. I just really like the color. It's the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toast. I just really love the tone of it. It's just that perfect kind of cool tone shadow type look that you want. Just helps you get that like if you know what I mean. Oh, I might have gone a little bit overboard. It's fine. I'll just bring it over here. <laughs> Thinned out, sponge it out. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, at this point I'm literally just doing my makeup. <laughs> I'm baking a cake right now, so I'm gonna just move on to bronzer. <laughs> I've been loving this brush by BH Cosmetics. It's one of their fan brush collections and I've been loving it for blush and bronzer. Let's just bronze up these cheeks a little, even though I'm pretty, pretty warm already. <laughs> Yes, pretty. My battery just died, so if I've moved slightly, you know why. I legit almost forgot about my bake. <laughs> Have you guys heard Sam Smith's new song? Oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. And also in the music video, I always thought Sam Smith was one of those guys who's kind of a little bit awkward, if you know what I mean. And then I saw him dancing in this music video and I was like, um, excuse you? <laughs> it looks so friggin' fierce. It was so cool, I loved it. And a little bit of a blurring powder before you go in with blush. I wanna be like porcelain doll. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next. Jet never gonna stop singing. 
Ariana Grande. I just can't. It's just impossible, okay? I'm trying to think of like other stuff to talk about, but I've really, I'm really at a loss. I love this brush for blush, man. It just places it like in the right spot and blends it so well. Look at my creases right now. That one's got black going there. That one's got black by there. This is not ideal. <laughs> That's what you get for having hooded eyelids, everybody. A whole life of frustration. <laughs> Baby. Blended, diffused, snatched. All of the above. Thank you very much. I'm just gonna do a little Scott Bonds trick around the lips to make them look a little bit plumper. Yes, I know I look insane. It's fine, it'll look okay in the end. <laughs> All right, let's finish up these eyes. Then we'll move on to lips and highlight. Just gonna add just a little bit of mascara and then we'll put falsies on in a little bit. I am using the L'Oreal Bambi Lash Mascara by the way. I'm still testing this out. I did do a first impression so I'll link in the eye over here if you're interested. Quickly just gonna set the base before I put a highlight on. While my face is drying, I'm quickly going to do my lip combo, which I loved on the day. I used the NYX Matte Lip Liner in the shade Los Angeles, which is just kind of like a cool tone colour. Obviously, I overdrew my lips quite a bit for this. And then I took the L'Oreal Matte Lip Paint in, in the shade Off White, which is a really, really nudie, peachy colour. I just kind of put it on the centre and then tapped it out and blended it with the lip liner. And now I look crazy. It's time to add a gloss over top. And this is the MUA Gloss in Honey which I really really like. Now it's time for the final touch highlighter. I just kept it like right by here. For the inner corner I did a really really strong highlight so I'm just gonna put that in here. I think I put it over the pink actually. I kind of like blended the pink into the inner corner. Put it over top underneath the brow as well. Oh and of course I can't forget the nose highlight. I've been really loving putting highlight right by here recently and I'm not quite sure why, just like the way it looks, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna do one last spritz of setting spray, put on some lashes, and then we'll reveal the final look. I'll show you my outfit. And uh, yeah, I think that's all she wrote. Okay, be right back. <laughs> all right, you guys, are you ready for the big reveal? <laughs> hey there. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the finished look. This is the outfit that I wore to see Ariana Grande. This is actually from Pretty Little Thing. I went full out for this Ariana Grande concert and I just went kind of clueless inspired, you know, from her Thank You Next music video. It's a cord set, so I have this jacket with a skirt that matches and then I've just got this little pink crop top on. This is the skirt. It matches the blazer, as you can see. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I felt really cool. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I felt bitchy, that's the word I want to use. <laughs> oh, and also the pony. I didn't actually end up taking pictures with it in, so I kind of want to do that right now because, I mean, how often am I, am I going to be wearing a 26 inch ponytail in my hair? <laughs> I did put this in originally, I left some of my bangs down so it looked like kind of matched my hair because I have an ombre but I just decided to do it as like a just top knot pony and I actually think I prefer it like this. By the end of the night I did have a headache from wearing this so I don't know how the hell Ariana wears these. <laughs> we were pretty much the only people as well who kind of like went themed. There were a few people there who had like jumper dresses on with like thigh highs. I wore this with black thigh highs. I can't wait to do a obnoxious montage in this look because I mean I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of feeling myself right now. <laughs> you put a fake pony in and then all of a sudden you feel like Ariana Grande. <laughs> I wish. Okay. Anyway guys, I'm gonna love you or leave you. Again, all the products that I've used are gonna be listed down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this little like chit chat. Get ready with me. If you did, please leave a thumbs up so I know. Don't forget to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button next to it and you'll get notified of whenever I upload. And yeah, I'm gonna go take some obnoxious pictures now. And <laughs> I hope to see you in the next video. Till then. Bye guys. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. It's pretty much my song. I'm so excited to get a dog. I use the NYX. I use the. Okay, so I'm gonna do one last. Push comes to shove, baby, I'm a train wreck too. Ooh, collarbones, a puppet. Wow. That Rachel and Pixie highlight though makes you look like a piece of glass. I like it.